Holy shit, this gun is super fucking soft. Today we got a tale of two Brens. Tyler and I are here today and we're gonna shoot some guns. But um, I've always loved the Bren too. You know, I was telling you about that. And there's two different ones right here. The first one started out life as a factory 16 inch gun. We put a HB products rail on it. Um, it's got a surefire uh, muzzle device so that we can run some suppressors later. But this also has the factory lower, the actual CZ lower. And this one's really been kitted out with HB products parts like the HB um, extended charging handle, their ambi safety, and their trigger. So this is the first one. This one's also got a Kales 1 to 6 on it. And then the one that I'm even more interested in shooting is this little guy right here. Um, but the Form 1 just got actually approved yesterday. So let's start at the front end. So we got some similarity. Same surefire muzzle device because we're going to shoot some suppressors. But we also added the HB Products gas piston. This is their three position uh, gas piston, which is totally set up if you want to run a suppressor. Now, here's the funny thing. I've never actually shot this gun with the original gas piston, so we're going to go right with the aftermarket. We're using an HP Products extended charging handle. I threw an EOTech on here. But the part that I really like right here is I'm using the Haga Defense lower with one of my AR Gold triggers and AR Fire Control. So this is the complete AR-15 lower half. So all of the things that I like that um, I use on my regular ARs are there. And lastly, because this started out life as, what, an 11 and a half inch pistol before we form one it, it's got a BNT stock with a Haga Defense adapter on it. So I think for short range, this little guy is going to be the, the wonderlust. And I mean, this has always been a good hitter at distance if you watch some of our old videos. But we're going to find out today, we'll at least start out to 200. First rounds ever on what used to be a Bren pistol, but it's now Form 1 as an SBR. And I don't even know what setting we put the piston at. I'm just going to shoot my little 25 yard target and see what kind of group I get. Oh my God, this thing does not move, dude. It might be not enough gas, is my guess. Yeah, that's not enough gas. All right. Clockwise. All right, three of that works, so that might be enough. All right, let's clear this bad boy out and see if I hit anything, Tyler. Dude, it is so soft, it's ridiculous. I need to come right and a little bit uh, down. 100 yard left target. All right. Hit it 200. I hit, I was three for three, baby. I'm gonna shoot two more on the left 100. And then I'll look with paint. I bet you're gonna hit. <laughs> shoot 200. Hit, bitches. That was a little left. That was a hit. Soft as this hell. This fuck is, right? I told you it was crazy. So I think this is going to end up being a winner for us. All right. There we go. All right, let's try a can. And we're leaving the uh, HP Products gas port at the same setting that we had on for unsuppressed shooting. And we're just going to give it a shot, and we're going to see how quiet it is. Tyler will actually know. So I have two suppressors for it. This one here is a Surefire RC3, and that's the latest mini from BNT. And so this will be our second magazine through this gun. Let's see if we can hit anything. How quiet is it? It sounds super quiet. All right. Well, that's enough with that can. 
What'd you think? It's still pretty quiet without ears. You can hear it breaking the sound barrier, so okay. you still get that snap. But... So here's our question. So keep your ears out. Let's take the collar off. We'll let that little bad boy cool. It's not too hot, but 3D printed, the latest BNT. And then here's a Surefire RC3. And, and there we go. All right. Now we're ratcheted. Okay. So point of impact, we have no idea if there's a shift. I'm going to go right to 100, the left target. Right target. 200. 25 or 50. You think it's any quieter? I think it's a tiny bit quieter. Tiny bit quieter. A little different audio report. Pretty amazing little shooting gun with like the softest recoil impulse of probably other than the vktr well 10 and a half versus 11 and a half what's one inch that's what she said yeah one right? inch makes all the difference right like i always want to answer these questions like so i keep reading that this is the shit uh, well it fucking kind of is the shit i'm not gonna lie right now yeah it is oh my god The only issue is I get more gas in the face with this gun, with the B&T can, than I do with the Surefire RC3. And that's a product of being a left-hander. Only change Surefire RC3 can versus the B&T Mini. Yeah, definitely less gas coming back for a lefty. So... The reason right now I keep coming back to the RC3 is definitely I am not getting a fucking puff of gas right in here. Um, so. <laughs> it doesn't move, dude. It. How would you think? I love this gun, dude. This thing's awesome. How soft would you say it is? It's so soft. Like it doesn't even move when you'll see me filming it, like videoing you. The gun doesn't even move when you're pulling the trigger. And at least it doesn't look like it. Yeah, no, it's got nothing. No recoil. It's easy.